Hello everyone on this fine Tuesday, I am SM72, yours truly Super Mario 72, and welcome back on another fantastic Tuesday playing Super Mario Sunshine. And then this episode, we're going to continue with Peanut Park, just wrapping up a few more things, and then hopefully getting to uh, something I've been looking forward to for a while, actually. So we have two of our bonus shines, which is good. All we have to do is, you know, take out Shadow Mario again in another Mission 7. This time it's Shadow Mario in the park. And this and again, we all know how easy these missions are. So we're just gonna do that and uh let's get him. Whoop. Whoops, you can't spray him while he's uh Come on, just die. Will you give up? Oh my god. Die. My god, he's, this dude's got like so many... There we go. Alright. The dude was putting up a good fight. At least he was trying to escape. Ouch. Whatever, screw you. Shine Sprite's more important anyway. What an awkward place to get a Shine Sprite. Alright, well that didn't even take two minutes. I'm glad that's done. So now we will do... This is actually a kind of difficult mission because... Uh, Alright, we just have to do... We have to do Mission 8 of Peanut Park and then we gotta do the 100 coin challenge. And again, it's not gonna take us the whole episode because we'll have time for more without a doubt. Depending on how well I do. <laughs> so we're gonna see how I can do this. So well so first we're gonna do mission eight, the roller coaster balloons. This is actually a kind of a cool mission just because um, of what is gonna be expected. Uh, I'll show that later. There's a glitch where you can lose your hat in this game and I'll show that you know at the end. So here we have Bowser Jr. balloons. Basically, the, we're going to celebrate Mario uh, saving Peanut Park by them setting up balloons for him to pop in, in celebration for everyone to enjoy or whatever. And <laughs> Yeah, that's basically what they're going to do. So what we got to do is we're going to head back to the... Well, first, let's hear what we, you have to say, just because... Merry Christmas is up for business. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to talk to this guy. Reopening of the roller coaster. We've got balloon popping water. Want to try? Yes. You know, the with water rockets. The roller coaster make three loops. In it. Yeah. So basically, you want to before you make three loops, you have to pop all 20 balloons and fail. And it's very, it's a little bit tricky. So this one I do struggle a bit with because the aiming of it. Kinda hard. Perfect three. Okay, I got that. Okay, yeah, shoot that one through so I can get it. On that two right there. That was a bad shot. I would like to get those three. Those three are the most annoying. But I doubt I'm going to be able to do that. Man, this isn't good. Get that. Damn it. See, that the aiming is so hard. Whatever. Come on, give me another one. Gotta get him. Yes, I got him. I think barely. And I missed. Alright, 9 out of 20. Not going too bad. I gotta aim very carefully. Which was not at all. So now this concerns me because uh, if you fail, you die and it's very hard to look at. Yes. I need to get those three, because those three are the most annoying ones. Okay, I got two of them, at least. So maybe I can do this after all. No, I gotta get these two, because these two are gonna cause me trouble. Okay, I got one. 
This is not, this isn't too bad, guys. This is not too bad. I just need to get that one. Please get it. Oh my god. Alright, I need to get four more before this is over. My aim is so bad. Get it. Oh my god, I'm probably gonna lose now because of that. My aim is so bad. Can I shoot it through? And I miraculously did, thanks to the Ferris wheel. Oh my god, get it! I need to get it. That son of a gun. Where, where is it? Yes! Yes, okay. I'm going to do this. Maybe not like that. How does that not... Hit it! Oh my gosh. Okay, this is it. This is the moment right here. And, of course, I failed. I think you get it at the last second. Oh my god. Well, and watch this. You're gonna die. <laughs> Does it take you? I forget if it takes you back to the start. And it does, and you know, it's kind of dumb how, you know, you you lose a life just because you lose at a game, like, you know, that's one of the things I don't really understand about, you know, Nintendo logic, I guess. Well, and because of that, I gotta do it again. I gotta go back and do it again, and blah, 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 blah. Let's see if I can do better this time. All because the accuracy on it is just like it's weird. Like it's like it's 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 hard to understand. Yeah, it it, it never really worked for me. <laughs> it was so funny if you check out Chugga Conroy's uh, let's play of it of when he did this mission. It was so funny because when he did it, he was just he was just like he was just like oh, oh I did it, I did it. <laughs> he, was, he was so funny. Alright, screw you. Like, this guy needs to go to hell, because, like, he just, like, r like removes an opening in the coaster, and then you die. It's, like, the most stupidest thing. Yeah, see, that was a better shot, because you gotta aim... Like, it feels like you're... I don't know how to describe it. And I barely was able to get that, I think. Okay, perfect three, which I like. I'm gonna get these two. By doing that, yeah, I can always get those because you know you just fire right there and you get them. Okay. Those. Get him. Oh, damn it. That's okay because we are going to do this. Okay, got that one. Damn it. Get him. Damn it. Alright, I got 11. That's better than 9 on the first round. Okay, that was a stupid shot. I need to get that one. Yes! Okay, I got it. Okay. Boom! Okay, that was a good shot. I just need to get this son of a gun. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna shoot at these guys now. Perfect. Oh my god, that was a good one. That was a good one. Alright, I need to get these guys. These guys are the really most annoying. Yes! Oh my god, I'm doing... This is significantly better than the last one, guys. It's just that one I need to get. And then I win. Which I'm about to get. Bam, I win. That was so much, so much better than... I just needed to, you know... Alright. Okay. Don't, we still have time to do the 100 coin mission and blah 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 blah. Alright, yeah, screw that guy for for purposely, uh, open. and sometimes you get a glitch with Flood. If, like, you get the Shine Sprite, like, in the air or whatever, then Flood will still be on the screen, but whatever. Um, so, yeah. So, help me God. That's actually the best I've ever done on that. <laughs>
so now we're going to go back in and we're going to do the 100 coin mission, which is very, very easy. Because all you have to do is this. Go to mission 2. And every bullet bill that Monty Mole will fire, at least I think that's what he's called, you can do this mission very easily. Also, with the help of uh, Yoshi, we can find coconuts. And if you heard that, do not worry about that. I am simply looking for coconuts. No, I want coconuts. Where can I find a token? Oh god! Whoa, that does three damage, I forgot about that. We do not want that. Okay, there's the... Are they up here? Where are they? Something's got to pop up. I just wish I could find the coconuts. They gotta be over here somewhere. Whoa, take it easy there, buddy. There it is! Okay, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Whew, did it. Am I invulnerable? Wow, look how much easier this is. Like, I never would have thought of this. Keep eating. Keep eating. This, this is gonna be so much easier. No, no! Oh my god, keep firing your freaking... I wonder what happens if you eat the yellow ones. But anyways, this is not as bad as you think it is. I just don't want to get that blue coin because... You know. What the hell? Weird noise. Get him. Okay. We're making... oh, I want to eat that yellow one. Where is he? Damn it. I was... That yellow one does a lot of damage, guys. So I'm just warning you right now. These are if I spray them. No, I can't spray them. It just makes it worse. I really need a better view of it. Oh, yes. That was awesome. Get anything. Anything. Anything I can get. Oh, there's the yellow one. I must get that yellow one. Get him. Yes! See, when you get the yellow ones, they are so much better to get. No, come here. Nice, nice, nice. Oh crap, I need juice. Crap, I need juice. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ooh. Come on, I need something. Come on. Yes, okay. No, God, no, no, please do not get that. getting a little bit dangerous now. How did I not get that one? Come on, I really want a yellow one. But as you can see, guys, this is totally not bad at all because you can just keep doing this and then, you know, you're good. 
73. It's okay, guys. We're going to do this. Ouch. Come on. No. Okay. Oh, there it is. I must get it. Yes, I got it. Barely. I was barely able to get it. Oh, my God. Okay. This is annoying, yet it's... Not bad at the same time, not get the blue point. The mission is to successfully do this without getting that blue point. We are almost there, guys. We're gonna do this. Screw you. Come on. Just one more. Get rid of that! Yes! Oh, yes! Okay, that's done. We just need to get to the shine sprite. Alright. Without getting any blue coins. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa! Oh my god, that's the scary part about when he fires them. They go flying over here. You can actually glide when you get the shine spread. It's pretty funny. But we did it, guys. That was not bad at all. And we have time for one more mission. We are done with Peanut Park for now, which I'm very glad. Very glad <laughs> that I won't be having to... Okay. So that was a bit weird, I know. But if you ask me, that's the way I do the 100 coin mission, so... Alright. Alright. Um, and now, as you can see... We are done Peanut Park for now. And Rico Harbor, etc. Now we are going to start the next world. Which I really enjoy. This is probably going to be my favorite um, world. This is my favorite world, without a doubt. I really like the, um, the ending worlds because they're just so good. Now what you want to do is we have to get Yoshi. He, he, needs, he wants a banana, so we're going to get that for him. So let's give him the banana, so that way we can have him open up that for us. So now you can eat the fruit, and now we can go inside. Opening you to World 5. Serena Beach. This is my favorite boss fight. Mission 1, the Manta Storm. I absolutely love this. This is my favorite boss fight just because it's so good. The music's great. And you'll see why. And I mean, just look at this. I mean, just look how awesome this is. Right here. I mean, it's just, it's great. There's a lot of things to explain about it, uh, you know, I don't want, but as you can see, we have the new electric goop, which shocks you, and such things. So when you talk to this guy, oh, please tell me my number's over, you can see me, I don't know why, you just look very capable to me. Listen, it all started around noon, this giant manta-shaped thing showed up, it was a paper-thin floating silhouette, it came and covered the hotel grounds in this electric goop. Then, oh, the horror, my beautiful hotel, my poor building, it sang in the middle of that awful ooze. Why me? Why? Now I've got to stop cleaning up, but where's my hotel? What am I supposed to do? I can't just sit back and, oh, I get back. Like, I also to do something and meet the boss. It's the secondary form of Cthulhu. <laughs> basically, it's this giant manta thing that you basically just have to spray. Now, I used to think of a method of having to deal with this boss. But, you may think it looks easy, but it, it, I mean, it is, it's very easy, and I'll show you exactly why it is. And there's a lot of electric goop here, so. so. basically, what happens is, if you touch the center of it, you will get hurt. I mean, you're okay to, yeah, so you can't really, you know, do much. But what you have to do is basically spray the damn thing. It has a deep voice, but then it breaks apart into two. And then when you spray these guys, and then they get 
higher pitch, and then they split into four, and now there, there are six of them, actually. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, there's six of them. Huh, wow. That's weird. And then when you spray these guys, and then you got the such tiny ones, and now they're all over the place. Which is why I love it so much, and then the music is so awesome, too, so... Now, what, what I usually used to do, if you sit on top of the... As you can see, the little ones are not coming after you. These guys are the ones that are coming after you right now. The, the big ones that have not become little yet. <laughs> and this guy's still sitting under here. If you stand on top of one of the huts, they will leave you alone. And then when you come back down, they will come after you again, as you can see. But then when I go back up, yeah, see, now he's turning around. So basically what you want, instead, I used to do that all the time, but it took forever. But what I'm going to do now is, the new way of doing it is to do this. You hang out by the beach here, where they can, you know, easily get you. And then you just keep using the method I told you guys about, which is why I, another reason why I like this boss fight, is because you can take care of them more easily. Lance Slam! Yeah, once you kill the small ones, they disappear, but when you kill all the big ones... Actually, that's not the last big one. This should be the last big one here. Come here. Come here. Oh, shit. Now they will... Once you get rid of all the big ones, they'll turn purple, and then they'll come after you. Yeah, so now they're gonna start to come after me because they're pissed off, but then you can just do this! I just love this boss fight because you can just keep annihilating them. No, I'm gonna let this guy follow me. You know what? I'm gonna let him follow me just for the hell of it. Because I want to end this off really well. If I can. Come here, buddy. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna let this little guy follow me. I want I want to be able to end this well. I want to be able to end this really well. All right, here he comes. I need to end this in a great victory. You guys ready? This is it. Oops. <gasps> <laughs> And then Mario dies, and that's the end, so. The whole setup of this boss fight was just, is just awesome. Because and then the hotel just grows back, and then, and then the giant sprite just appears there, and then, and it shows the sky and whatever, and then it goes right there, and then blah, 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 blah. And then Mario somehow appears here, and it, Fantastic, you're amazing, you're my hero. I was just flapping my gums about getting rid of that thing. Yeah, like you, <laughs> I didn't even see it. But whatever, and then they're still pissed off and blah 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 blah. So that's the boss fight. When you kill the last one, it's like the best thing ever because then you hear like, you know, it's all defeated and it's just the best thing ever because it's so dark and yeah, it's just hard to describe. But yep, there, there's my favorite boss for you guys, and I hope I hope you enjoyed this um, fantastic Tuesday with me. And um, be sure to check out my channel, Too Mad for Gaming, and the content on our channel. And be sure to check out our weekly schedule to see who's doing what and what will be out for you guys. And um, yeah, to the next episode of Super Mario Sunshine, guys. I have been SM72, your, uh, yours truly, Silver Mario 72. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Have yourself a damn good one. <laughs>